Hey, it's time for The Beats with Fabian Marcano. He's going to tell us what's happening in the world of music. How was that, guys? Good? Did you like it? Hey, what's up, guys? It's Fabian from Daily Flash Latino. Let's get you in tune with The Beat. Here we are. Started off with Usher is set to headline the Super Bowl halftime show. The eight-time Grammy-winning singer will headline the halftime show of Super Bowl 58 in Las Vegas. It comes in the second year of the league's multi-year deal with Apple Music and will be Usher's first time starring in the show. Usher spoke on his excitement finally checking off a Super Bowl performance off his bucket list and says he can't wait to bring the world a show unlike anything else they've seen before. Usher performed at the Super Bowl halftime show in 2011 at AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas as a compliment to the lead act, The Black Eyed Peas, and now gets to be the star of the night. His participation comes in uh, amid the NFL's partnership with Jay-Z Sports and Entertainment Agency, Rock Nation, which signed in 2019 to boost the quality of halftime shows. Usher says beyond his flawless, or sorry, Jay-Z says beyond his flawless singing and exceptional choreography, Usher bears his soul. Jay-Z said in a statement, I can't wait to see the magic. Up next on the beat, we have the 2023 iHeartRadio Music Festival, which was an absolutely epic night full of music and a weekend full of unforgettable moments from some of the biggest artists in the world at T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. Throughout the weekend, this year's festival featured performances from his star-studded lineup, including Foo Fighters, Fall Out Boys, Kelly Clarkson, Kane Brown, Lil Wayne, Lenny Kravitz, Miguel, Public Enemy, Sheryl Crow, Tim McGraw, 30 Seconds to Mars, Travis Scott, and much more. From nostalgic performances to surprise guests, this year's iHeartRadio Music Festival had it all. Travis Scott brought Utopia to life during explosive performance. During his explosive set, uh, Travis Scott served up the album's intro, Hyena, K-pop, he did Fiend, he also did Telekinesis, and of, of course his big Meltdown hit, which he exclusively debuted on iHeartRadio. The Foo Fighters took the stage at the 2023 iHeart Music Festival for the very first time, performing, performing an incredible set of some of their biggest hits from their nearly three decade long career. Kelly Clarkson, also part of the show, she closed her set with one of her most iconic hits throughout her career, prompting an epic sing-along with the crowd called Since You've Been Gone, an empowering anthem that appeared on her 12-track Breakaway album in 2004. And notably, Clarkson made a lyric swap at the end, which uh, instead of Since You've Been Gone, she's changed it into I'm So Happy Now That You're Gone. You know what that means. <laughs> Lil Wayne performed all his fans' favorites and teased more new music. He performed Cat Food, which he confirmed will be up on his upcoming LP, The Fix Before the VI. You know what's up. TLC paid homage to late Lisa's left eye, Lopes in heartwarming tribute. Tim McGraw fires up the crowd with decades of his iconic hits. Sheryl Crow also got a nostalgic, uh, she got nostalgic with the 90s throwbacks with songs like if it makes you happy and soak up the sun. And after a set full of fan favorites, a new, uh, new music and a lot of more events, Fall Out Boys closed out the show with a bang by performing with fires blazing on their heads. While performing, we didn't start the fire. Their updated 2023 cover of Billy Joel's 1989 hit. I'm Fabian Marcano and you just felt the beat. Be sure to check us out on Daily Flash Latino and head to our website, dailyflashlatino.com, to check our local listings and times.